My name is Duddy, it's all builds and stuff. I've got an absolute joke of a hunter build today. We're going to be featuring the brand new sword, Ergo Sum, with Chain Conductor. It's like Risk Runner Perk, it's absolutely crazy. We're going to be abusing the invisibility from Stylish Executioner. We're going to be chaining, jolting things with the Ergo Sum. Like I said, it's the Art Conductor, it's got the Risk Runner Perk on there. We'll go into it a little bit more as we go. And we're going to be abusing the Stylish Executioner Perk, going invisible from any debuff that you apply to targets. Look at the state of this. This is all the co-op missions. I believe it was 2025. The level we was on 1960 when me and my friend did this, and it just absolutely destroys these missions. Invisible chaining, jolting. Stay with me. We're gonna start off with the sword, the Ergo Sum, Arc Conductor, powered heavy attacks, charge the wielder, enabling them to resist arc damage and chain lightning to nearby targets. It's very, very similar to the Risk Runner perk. It's got the perk on there, Transcendent Duelist. This is sort of overlooked in my opinion, this weapon collects less ammo, final blows with this weapon accelerate light and darkness mastery, deals increased damage while transcendent, defeating targets lengthens the transcendence. Like I said this is absolutely underrated, it's also got the caster frame, launch a heavy projectile attack, heavy attacks are stronger with full energy. Now stay with me, this sword is just, this is just an example of what this sword does. So you can basically just do your heavy attack like so, and that will make that chain lightning around you. It gives you like a little arc force field and everything nearby will chain you. Now we're going to switch on to the aspects that we use. Stylish Executioner, defeating a target affected by Ellie, any elemental debuff, grants invisibility and true sight. It also gives you a weakening melee as well, but we're not worrying about this in this video. So any debuff... In the game, something like slowing with a dust veil grenade is really good because that slows and freezes. And then we're going to use a stylish executioner to go invisible from that. So from a dust veil grenade, everything in that area over there is frozen. Anything I kill over there will make me invisible because of the stylish executioner perk. So you'll see there, I've gone invisible and I've chained electric or lightning with the caster frame. So that's basically how this loop of play works. Not only the dust field grenade, any debuff, whether it's jolting, unraveling, things like that, that will also turn you invisible. Threaded spike is another one I like to run as a melee. Throw a rope that, that bounces between targets, damaging and severing them, the dirt will return to you. So it severs as well. This is just another way to proc your stylish execution with a dust field grenade. They're severed and you'll just go invisible at will with the dust field grenade and the threaded spectre. We've got fragments as well that I'll show you what will also buff this build out towards the end. So stay with me. So basically, again, get a dust field grenade or a Fred Spectre. Use your super and your sword, your heavy attack, sorry. And that will turn you invisible. While you're invisible, you're going to run around and jolt and chain things, which is absolutely disgusting. And you're going to be taking reduced arc damage as well. And like I said, I've got some fragments to show you as well, which really buff the build out. So you can literally keep your transcendent going let's look at the state of this transcendent super energy at the bottom this is that transcendent duelist perk i was talking about you can literally just run around invisible chain lightning to everything like your risk runner on uh, the old exotic smg and you can just literally keep feeding that super it's really really underrated in my opinion now again this clip is when we was doing the co-op missions these was 2025 i don't believe or something like that we was well under leveled in this and this this little setup was an absolute lifesaver, being able to go invisible and jolt, uh, sorry, lightning all the targets that come near you as well. It's really, really good. Ascension is another aspect I want to pair with the Stylish Executioner. It's a brand new one. Press while airborne to consume your class ability. Summoning your arc staff, propelling yourself upward and creating a burst of energy around you that amplifies you, allies, and it also jolts targets. This works obviously pretty well with the Stylish Executioner. Because you will jolt things, you're becoming amplified, and you can go invisible. Really, really good. So the Ascension fits into this build very nicely, because it will make you amplified and jolt things for your invisibility. The new Exotic Gifted Conviction fits into this build pretty nicely as well. Activated Ascension or Tempest Strike throws bouncing explosives at nearby enemies that jolt and damage them. Jolting nearby targets grants you damage resistance. So you've got the damage resistance, the arc damage resistance from the sword, and the exotic chess piece. And this is the type of thing you can do with it. Get yourself invisible from all the jolting from the aspect and the exotic. Chain, chain your things with the sword, 
All the while you are invisible from the stylish executioner and you can really just run a mockery. This is an excellent clip, see what you think of this one. Just get in there straight away with your ascension, go invisible, dust fill grenade, slow and freeze them to become invisible, uh, invisible again. And then you can just run around and just absolutely destroy things while you're invisible. Really, really strong build. And again, I was probably like 50 levels under, 60 levels under in this particular mission. Really, really insanely strong. Now, these fragments, I want to show you that I'll buff this build out. Facet of Hope, while you have an elemental buff, your class ability regenerates more quickly. You are always amplified with this build, so you're going to get really fast uh, class ability recharge rate. The next one is Facet of Courage. Your Arc, Solar and Void abilities deal increased damage to targets afflicted by Darkness debuffs. Again, we've got the Threaded Spiker and the Dust Field Grenade to proc that, so all your light abilities do extra damage. We're also going to be running the facet of protection. While surrounded by combatants, you are more resistance to incoming damage. While transcendent, the effect is increased. Protection from that and protection from all the arc stuff we've mentioned. Facet of solitude, solitude rapid precision hits, emits a severing blast from target. While transcendent, the severing blast is bigger. This is just another way to proc your stylish executioner. Facet of Dawn, Powered Melee hits against targets make you Radiant. Powered Melee final blows make you and your nearby allies Radiant when you Transcendent. Really good for the Threaded Spectre. Now the Super, I really like this new Storm Edge. Especially if you apply a Light or da uh, sorry, Dark Debuff on there to get that extra damage. But you can run any Super you wish with this build. But that's pretty much rounded up. The only thing I want to sort of finish off with is just how easy it made these co-op missions for the... Trace Rifle Quest, the Microchasm, it really did make it very fun and it was really, really easy uh, in my opinion with this build. Me and my mate Johnny smashed through these pretty, pretty effortlessly really. Now Transcendent Duelist, I just want to finish off on this. Deals increased damage while Transcendent, defeating target lengthens the Transcendence. I really just want to show you this working one more time just to sort of finish off the video. Again, just look at that Transcendence at the bottom literally infinitely just running around like an absolute madman keeping that uh, damage going there's a couple of other things i want to show you as well just before you go regarding the seasonal artifact pack to buff the build out even further blade stamina rapidly defeating combatants with a sword refund some ammo i mean what more do you want and then on top of that we've also got overload swords landing consecutive hits with a sword will uh, overload overload champions that's the video. Uh, what I'll do is I'll leave the build playing out. I'll also leave a dim link in the video description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.